Sziasztok, én itt a 19 óta eljöttünk a még kettő ö, le, legújabb videómhoz az, hogy ö, szellemes nézi furcsa jelenségek és a cím ne tévesszél meg senkit ezt hagyjuk így és a mi a másik, hogy ö, mit akartam mondani, ja, nézzük végig és ezt mind megjátszott a gyerekek, csak szólok előre. Mind megjátszott a videó, ettől nem kell félni. Akkor kezdjük. The Casper Mountain Crawler. TikTok user Isaiah Harris and his cousin Brock are out on a hiking trip on Casper Mountain in Wyoming. In the middle of the night, as they are crossing a bridge, they start to hear strange groaning noises that seem to be coming from underneath the bridge. Isaiah pulls out his phone and starts to record as they go to investigate. What happens next is downright terrifying. Me and my cousin took a hike in the middle of the night. That means that we're close. And what we found was the most terrifying thing we've ever witnessed. Dude, did you hear that? You didn't hear that. There's something under there. Bro. Dude, please don't go down there. Oh my gosh. Dude, hold on, let me go first, let me go first. Some bizarre pale humanoid shape lurking in the darkness of the sewer tunnel. The two hikers just make a run for it. Isaiah posted his spooky experience to TikTok and the video instantly went viral. But many viewers were skeptical about the strange sudden cut at the end of the video. So Isaiah posted an update to explain. So yeah. let me just explain something. I actually film on three different apps at a time to film my videos. Last night, I was trying to film everything on Snapchat. So whenever I recorded, whatever I recorded, um, I wasn't gonna just sit there and record it because I was running for my life, okay? And I'm not trying to be funny about this. Um, literally, I was puking. Like, I mean, opened this door mid-drive and vomited. I don't know if it was because I was genuinely terrified or if it was because I was running so much, but I, yeah, I, I did. But I did manage to screenshot what was under that bridge and enhance it for you guys, and I'll, I'll show you that. Yeah, um, let me just tell you, I've never been more terrified in my entire life. I can't even look at this picture right now. <laughs> But I do not know what he would have been doing down there, but naked, maybe taking a bath. Yeah, but okay. just everything about it just did not. Now, after many requests, or some might say dares, from his viewers, Isaiah and his cousin Brock decide to go back to Casper Mountain and spend the entire night camping out in the spooky woods. Mert ugyanoda nem mennek vissza a helyükre. So we're gonna spend the entire night to try to find whatever it was that we saw last night. Um, we're up on the mountain where we did see it, kind of close by. There was a waterfall that's kind of more down the mountain, but we're gonna try and find it tonight. We're gonna be up all night. No sleep. All right, guys, we're here. Um, we're about to unload the four wheeler, but it's a full fun. Kind of just camp out for a little bit. We got our sights and. Yeah, forgot your axe. This is how we do it down here in the wine. Oh yeah, look at that break. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of creepy. Look, hope he doesn't jump out to scare me. Bro, please don't scare me. Not that dog, Jerek. Oh my god. So he's got this terrible lighting. Can't walk. Yes, but we're literally shining the lamp real quick. We're just walking back right now, and like legit, I think we're lost because I don't have any idea where we're at. Do you know where we are? Dude, oh hell no. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so we're back at camp. We didn't really get anything. We've been out here since like, what, we started looking at about 10, and it's already like 2.30. Sorry, guys. Maybe we can come back up here and film another one, but I don't know. Other than some creepy footsteps, Isaiah and Brock don't really capture much of anything that night. Or at least, that's what they tell us. Because, because, did you see it? Where we are? Right after they hear footsteps, someone or something can be seen running through the trees, hiding in the dark. So, Isaiah and many of his viewers believe that some kind of strange creature is living on Casper Mountain. Some even believe this thing could be a skinwalker or a rake. But who or what? Do you think this is? Ez mondom, hogy mi ne? Mocskos kibaszott faszapok, kurva anyjuk a tennek. Ha nem tudok megcsinálni videó. Mert mindig ennek be kell jönnie. What waits at the window? Vlogger Natalia Valente, along with her mother and a few f... Fél pillanat gyerekek. Jó? Fél pillanat, és nem mosztom meg. És... Milyen megnézem itten a... Normál minőség, kontor, ok, akkor ezt én lekapcsoltam. Minőség, ó, hagyom automatikán. Mindjárt, 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 folytassuk tovább. Normál, oké, normál, hasonlítunk. Feliratom az van, nem. Friends set out to explore the abandoned Cesario Mota Asylum in the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Mota Asylum was built in 1973 and served as an institution for patients with severe or violent mental disorders. After many rumors of tragic patient deaths inside the hospital, the asylum was eventually forced to close in the 1990s. Now it's 30 years later. And the property is said to be extremely haunted, especially the so-called pink wing of the asylum. The pink wing is on the second floor and is said to be where mentally disturbed children were held. Today, kids toys and posters can be found scattered throughout the creepy barren rooms of the pink wing. A gente vai entrar, já chegamos. Tô com medo! Entramos. When Natalia and her group explore the Mota Asylum's pink wing, strange things start to happen. Parte 5 e essa é a rosa que a gente... Ah! Mega cheio da maneta, coloca a rosa. Assim, tá? Mega cheio da maneta. Tipo, aqui é bem pesado. Olha, gente, olha aqui. Olha aqui. The group hears a loud bang that startles Natalia. But they have no idea that they just captured something even more terrifying. Watch closely as they explore just outside the asylum's pink wing. Parte 3 da ala rosa, que é a pior ala que tem. Gente, quanto barro no chão. A gente tá indo pros outros lados, que é bem escondido da ala rosa. Que é onde o povo vai ficar os três aços. Bom, a gente tá indo agora pro necrotério. Did you see it? Up in the window, three children can be seen watching the group as they walk around the property. Again, creepiest of all is that the young boys we see are actually standing in the windows of the haunted asylum Pink Wing, the area where disturbed children were kept 30 years ago. So could it be that these children are the spirits of patients who lost their lives inside the asylum? And if not, just who are these boys? Let me know what you think down in the comments. The Haunting of Jim Berari. TikToker Jim Berari lives in a historic 1700s Pennsylvania colonial home along with her wife Heather and six-year-old daughter Ray. 
Now Jen and her family might seem familiar as I featured their story on my channel before. You see, after the family started making some much needed renovations on their historic property, strange unexplained events began to terrorize them night and day. Can you stop? I don't know. And my reflection is creeping me out. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. There's something. It looks like the old man is coming out, I swear to fucking God. What the fuck was that? After doing some research, Jin found out that as many as five people are on their property. They won't get rid of their first, But she now believes that their beautiful countryside home is haunted by the frightening spirits of those who have lived there before. Since I last featured Jin Barari's story, the strange supernatural activity still continues. One evening as the sun sets, Jin is loading up her car to go on a trip when she suddenly hears something that shocks her to her core. No, I just went on the nerves and lost all the nerves. Holy sh Did you guys hear that? That was fucking crazy. This is insane. And now I hear that again. That's insane. Mm. Yo, I swear to God, that wasn't me. Can you please do that again? Please. I'm gonna count so you guys know it's not me. It's An eerie female voice can be heard saying, help and leave. That was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy. I'm gonna count so you guys know it's not me. But that's not all that Jin captured in this bizarre bit of paranormal evidence. So again, I ask you, did you see it? Inside the small window at the top of the old barn, two unexplained odd pale hands can be seen. Though Jen didn't notice at the time, multiple TikTok viewers pointed out the creepy sighting. Jen is in disbelief. She claims that she has no idea whose hands these could be, as there was no one inside the barn. Another night and Jen hears an odd sound outside. She grabs her phone and records as she goes outdoors to check it out. The noise is coming from her daughter's swing set. But there's nothing there. At least it just seems that way. Because a CCTV camera inside captures something truly terrifying. Come on, Spira. 
around. Jen can't see anything there, and likewise her phone captures nothing but the swing set swaying back and forth. However, her CCTV's night vision camera reveals a bizarre female figure with long dark hair standing directly in front of Jen, just staring at her. So what do you think is going on here? Is Jen's property no, 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 no. angry spirits from the past? I leave it up to you to decide. You can check out many more paranormal encounters over on Jim Barari's TikTok account and YouTube channel. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Railway to Nowhere. YouTube gamer and urban explorer Mr. Omega often goes on overnight challenges to explore abandoned and spooky places in his country of New Zealand. This time he plans to stay overnight in the deserted Spooner's Tunnel, an old train pass that was dug out of the mountain by hand back in 1891. Unfortunately, the railway line suffered financial difficulties and the tunnel was never connected to the railway system. The tunnel was eventually closed and dismantled back in 1955. The passageway was dubbed, quote, the railway to nowhere. Because of the YouTuber Mr. Omega decides to treat the old abandoned tunnel, you tunnel as a perfect spot to film an overnight challenge. Okay, here we are here. The only person I have with me is Max. You know, Van's best friend and everything. Oh man, look at that. There's a vehicle over there that's burnt out too. Oh man, look at it. Hope it's not a popular spot for people to come up and do gosh knows what. Okay, I'll over here. Okay, before we even go into the tunnel, as you can see, it's totally pitch black. Uh, it's too dark to go in there without any form or source of light. So uh, that's the next thing we need to get out of the pack. Oh, there's my baby. <laughs> this is my massive dolphin torch. Uh, it's a really good torch, as you can see. It pretty much shine right down to the end of the tunnel there, so uh, this thing will do the trick, I'm sure. So, Mr. Omega and his loyal dog hey, to, the tunnel to find a spot to set up camp for the night. I managed to secure myself a place to uh, stay for the night, and as you can see, out here, it is totally dark now, it's, the sun's gone right down, there's no more light left. If I turn my light off, now this, this is the freaky thing, when I turn this light off, it is totally pitch black and silent. You ready? Here we go. Wow. That's just, that's spoop hair, if you ask me. I feel good having the dog here. Where are you, Max? Max, there you are, there he is. I feel better having my dog with me. I mean, obviously, if I didn't have Max, it'd be a little bit creepy. Obviously, I feel like safer with my dog uh, being here. He will always bark if anyone comes uninvited to uh, visit us in the night. So I'll always wake up. I'm a light sleeper as well, so I'm always gonna wake up to hearing Max's bark. Don't know, Max, I'm always gonna hear what you're gonna say. To Around 4 a.m., things start to get really weird. Omega discovers that he has no cell reception inside the tunnel, and so along with Dog Max, he heads back to the opening to check his phone. After that, he starts to trek back inside the tunnel, and then this happens. We're gonna complete our overnight challenge. Yes, yes we do. All right, Max, let's go back in. Here it is. Woo! Max! some sort of tune out Max, come here. Come here. Max. Who's that? Who's that, Max? What the action? Can you go, can you go see that? Max. Where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but there's something. What is that? Ugh. What the? Hello? What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? 
Is there somebody here? This is creepy as what the hell? Is anyone here? What is that? Oh! A creepy little toy is just lying in the middle of the path, playing a warbly rendition of Happy Birthday. Omega turns around and is shocked out of his skin as he sees a man lurching toward him out of a crevice in the tunnel wall. He just makes a run for it. Now, Mr. Omega says that he is absolutely stunned by what happened. He has no idea why anyone would be hiding in the cold abandoned train tunnel at 4 a.m. Especially because the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere, miles away from any house. Another truly baffling part of this incident is that the dog Max did not react at all to the creepy stranger. Almost like the man was not even there. And perhaps most disturbing of all, why did <laughs> creepy little toy in the path. Either way, paranormal or not, this encounter is absolutely terrifying. You can watch the entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Mr. Omega. Omega. Mr. Omega. As one door closes, this next video was posted to YouTube over 12 years ago by an anonymous YouTube account. The video was filmed by David Ortiz, the custodian of Sawyer Elementary School in Chicago, Illinois. David is alerted by a teacher named Evelyn who claims that she saw a door in the back of the school's boiler room inexplicably slammed shut, all on its own. David films as he and teacher Evelyn go back to the boiler slash storage room to investigate. Yeah, but to the... What happens next is, is truly bizarre. I'm with Evelyn Sims. We're using this recording here uh, due to a statement. She says that there's been things in the back area that have been... Alright, explain to us what happened, Evelyn. Well, I'm here. I'm here now. Oh, don't worry. Would you call with me? All right. What? So what happened? The soldier shit on his own and said, "Step back yourself, David." I don't know if I want to go. I don't feel good right. about this. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Just I wait. I don't want to go back there. Let me just take a look. Now you say what happened? Now the door shit by itself. Itself, Dave. All right. Let me see. I'm looking, but I'm not going back there either. What, you scared? I'm, I'm not, not going back there. I, I, I'm good. I got a funny feeling about this. Uh, oh, David. I don't think I want to go there. Come on, come on, go ahead. Oh, Evelyn, just go. No, no, no. I'm right, I'm right here. I see the door. All right, go get your stuff. I'm right here. Oh, David, I'm scared. Don't be. Right. Hold on, wait a minute. Just wait. Is there anybody back here? Please. Go ahead. No. What the ah! Oh my. Oh my god. No way. No way. Do you see? I'm close. I'm close. Hold on. Let's go. Mr. Ortiz or Stand by. Stand by. Oh my god, oh my god. A chair in the back of the boiler room suddenly slides forward all on its own, giving both David and Evelyn the scare of a lifetime. Somewhere nearby, we hear the loud clang of something metallic being thrown oh, on the ground. The two school employees have no explanation for what happened. Now, after this video was posted to YouTube, many former students of Sawyer Elementary came forward to say that they, too, had experienced paranormal activity while attending the school. Anyway, so I guess I don't have to ask, did you see it? I don't make my Oh my god. Did you see it? I'm I'm But could Sawyer Elementary School be haunted? As always, you decide. Pitch? Black. 
Reddit user Notel411 claims that his aunt and her family were on vacation and he was house sitting for them. Then, one night, he spots something on her child's nanny cam that makes his blood run cold. I don't know if I'm seeing or tripping, but check this out. So this is my aunt's son's room, right? There's no one in here. Nothing. Closet. Nothing. Get a nanny camera in here. All right, now tell me. Right on the monitor here. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Like. Yeah. Like I've, I've checked, like went back and forth three times and I. So, okay, nothing, right? Like, what the f I do not want to go back in there. Definitely something in there. I, I. What the f a small dark figure appears to be standing in the child's room behind a stuffed dinosaur, but in front of the desk. However, when he goes into the room, there's nothing there. Baffled by what he's seeing, he attempts to, well, just pitch a ball at it. But the creepy figure doesn't move. Reddit user Notel411 says that he did not go back inside the room for the rest of his stay, and he still has no idea what the security camera captured. The Lady of the Lake. Paranormal investigators Casey and Colton from the YouTube channel Mindseed TV set out to investigate an allegedly haunted lake house in southern Georgia. The property belongs to an older couple who claims that an evil presence is making their lives a living hell. Now the backstory is that the home's previous residents were a young couple who were having serious marital problems. The wife had an affair, and it is believed that the husband discovered her indiscretion. Very suspiciously, one day, the wife just disappeared. After weeks of searching, the woman's drowned body was found in the lake near the home. No, any of the video was something that we needed to check it out. We got the crew, and you've heard that we've had one of the girl, my fucking idiot, who is Nicholas. Yeah, they call us Salem, they say call us Boss Nicole. 
か、どうしてなんか、ヒーダーテシューズ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ